guys, today Jax invited me to visit his secret carrot storage. Let's go there as soon as possible because I can't wait to find out what he has prepared for me. Wait guys, it seems like I have absolutely no idea what you are doing together here. Well, actually, I'm just helping Jax arrange his barrels of carrots because it's incredibly hard for him to do it alone. I'm incredibly glad that you really agreed to visit me. And right now I'm going to show you something very interesting. In that case, please don't waste time and show me what you have prepared for me. Actually, I wanted to show you this thing that I recently got from Kofmo. Now you'll never get out of here until we want you to. Jax, stop pushing me immediately. Come on, please don't get mad. It's just a little prank from Kane and me. Actually, I absolutely didn't like this kind of prank, so I ask you never to do anything like this again. Come on, stop talking nonsense. Kane, please stop closing the door. I thought your prank was already over. Actually, I'm not going to let you out at all despite what Jax told you. It seems there's absolutely no other way out of here, and even this chest is completely empty. Let me out of here immediately, or I'll tear this carrot storage to pieces. Well, okay, we'll let you out if you promise us to go to Kafmo and get something interesting that we urgently need. I think you have no choice but to agree to our terms. Well, okay, I'll fulfill your request. Just please let me out of here as soon as possible. Thank you very much for finally deciding to think a little, and now please wait for me here. Come back here as soon as possible. Guys, to be honest, all this looks incredibly strange because I have no idea why my friends suddenly started behaving this way. Now, because of their stupid behavior, I have to go to Kafmo and get some unknown thing from him that I don't even know about. I can only assume it's some kind of staff or potion that Kane suddenly needed. Nevertheless, I'm more than sure that he will definitely tell me about it himself. Now, first, I need to quickly climb to the top and try to find him somewhere here. It seems something very strange is happening there. Hey, hi, Kofmo. That stupid marmalade crocodile once again tried to steal my potions, but he didn't consider the fact that I was at home at the time. I came to you to ask if you have taken anything from Kane recently. I don't understand your interest, but I absolutely didn't take anything from him. Kane sent me here to take something from you, and I have no idea what exactly he meant. I think there's some kind of trick involved. So tell me the whole truth immediately. Well, okay. I'll tell you that Kane and Jax caught me in the carrot storage today and agreed to release me only on the condition that I come to you and take something from you. Just like you, I have absolutely no idea what he meant. It seems I have an idea, for example. I can give you my new potion of abstraction. With its help, you can take revenge on them for what they did. And when you come to them, just throw it at them. Wow, I think this is really a great idea for revenge. As soon as you get your revenge, come back to me. Guys, it seems I'm incredibly lucky that Kofmo came up with such a brilliant plan so I can take revenge on my friends. Now they will definitely pay for what they did, and they'll never prank me like this again. Otherwise, I will take revenge on them more and more each time, and I need to warn them about this. Let's finally go downstairs and head back to Jax's secret carrot storage. I hope you didn't deceive me and I can really find them there. I really hope this potion isn't expired because otherwise my whole plan will be ruined. Do you want to tell me why you decided to come out of the storage? I just came out to get some fresh air. I'm incredibly glad you actually managed to find what I wanted to see from you. Really, stop wasting time and throw this potion at Kane. I hope you didn't expect this turn of events. Pomni, explain to me immediately what you did and why he instantly turned into an abstraction. I'm not going to explain anything to you, and now you just need to run away from this abstraction. This is an incredibly stupid decision because you'll have to run away from it yourself because of your foolishness. I didn't think about that at all. And now we need to find some place to hide from it as soon as possible. I have no idea, but I don't see anything nearby except this secret bunker, so let's quickly run there. Run straight after me and close this giant iron door. Wow, honestly, I didn't even know there was so much gold in this room. Maybe you shouldn't touch this gold because it actually belongs to Kofmo. Don't worry about it because he will never know it was me unless you tell him. That's fine, but do you have any idea how we can get out of here if the abstraction is waiting for us outside? Actually, I always have a magic pickaxe with me with which we can easily dig a passage through this wall. In that case, do it as soon as possible. Honestly, I didn't expect there to be some kind of secret tunnel here. I dug this tunnel because it's very convenient for occasionally stealing golden apples from this storage. That's really good, but I have no idea where such a giant abstraction could have gone if it was just here. Actually, it's standing right behind you, so I'd advise you to run away quickly. Oh no, not this. It's going to spot us, so we need to quickly come up with a new place where we can hide right now together. I think we can try to hide in Kane's house because there are always some potions there that will definitely help us save him. That's a really good idea. So let's run there as soon as possible because the abstraction is still chasing us. I can't imagine what might happen if it suddenly catches up with us. I don't recommend finding out, so let's quickly go down to Kane's house and run into the laboratory. Don't worry about it because I'll easily find some kind of restoration potion here specifically for such a case. 
It seems this is exactly what we need, and now take this potion because you'll have to throw it at the abstraction while I distract it. That's really a very good plan. So let's go back up immediately and try to save Kane once again! I hope that while we were downstairs, the abstraction didn't have time to engulf the entire amazing digital circus. Wait, it seems that I have absolutely no idea what happened here because for some reason the abstraction has shrunk again! I don't understand what happened to this abstraction, but it's not reacting to me at all not even to my attempts to hit it with a cobblestone. So I advise you to just throw the potion at it before it decides to become very aggressive towards us again. Omni, have you completely lost your mind? I did it only to get back at you for playing such a stupid prank on me. I think this was the only way for us to make you help us take something incredibly important from Kofmo that could change our amazing digital circus forever at any moment. It's a shame you decided to deceive us so foolishly. You could have just asked me about it. I would definitely have agreed to help we you. We didn't think about it at all and decided to do what we did. It seems that Jax and I have to go now because we have an incredible busy day ahead with lots of important tasks. Are you really not going to invite me to go with you? Absolutely not, because you'll just mess things up again with some abstraction potion. It's a shame my friends didn't want to take me with them. I'll go to Ragatha's house and tell her everything that happened to me today. I hope she supports me and we can go for a walk together. I absolutely love swimming in this lake because it's very hot outside today. Unfortunately, I'm here alone right now, but I hope someone will come to me soon. For example, the gummy crocodile. Wait, what is this? Hey, Jax, what are you even doing there? I just wanted to peek at you a little, but I miscalculated the necessary air supply. Are you out of your mind? Explain why you were spying on me. I just wanted to surprise you today and was going to ask you out on a date. Wow, actually, I don't have any plans for today, so of course I agree. That's great. In that case, we can go to my McDonald's right now. We'll grab a couple of burgers there and then head to my place. Guys, honestly, a minute ago I didn't expect someone to come to me so quickly. My surprise could have been even better if I decided to hold my breath a little earlier. Next time, I'll definitely keep that in mind. But right now, we're almost at McDonald's. To be honest, I don't know if I want to take any food with me. Of course, you don't have to take anything, but I'll definitely get a lot of delicious burgers. Wait, why is there absolutely nothing here? Looks like the gummy crocodiles have been here during my absence. They're very gluttonous, so there isn't a single burger left on the tables. Please tell me what you have in your blender? Inside there's a golden apple, invisibility potion, and a lot of other very tasty things. Honestly, I don't really want to try Well, it. in that case, I'll probably make a couple of burgers and you'll have to wait a bit. While Jax is making burgers, I'll probably go outside and get some fresh air. By the way, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the videos. Look at that. It seems the gummy crocodile is riding his scooter on his yacht right now. I absolutely can't understand how this scooter could even end up on his yacht. Hey, Pomni, I've already made some burgers so we can take them with us and head to my place. Maybe we can eat one burger each right now. I think that's a great idea. So I'll do it right now. Oh wait, it seems the meat in this burger was a bit off. How can the burger not be fresh if you literally made it a minute ago? Apparently, I've completely forgotten how to cook. Hey, Jax. Oh no, guys, not this. It seems Jax ate a burger that someone probably spiked with a sleeping pill. I need to help him wake up immediately, so I'm going to head to Kane's house right away to ask for his help. I hope he's busy as usual, brewing some potion in his lab. That's why I'll go there right now and check if he's there. It seems my theory was wrong and there's absolutely no one here. Now I need to check the remaining rooms in his house. Hey, hi, Kane. I must warn you that behind this door there's some kind of spatial anomaly. Don't go in there without my supervision. Actually, I came here to ask you for a restoration potion for Jax. Did something happen to him again? Can you imagine? He made a fresh burger, and when he ate it, he immediately passed out and said it was stale. That's why I urgently need your help. That's really bad, and we definitely need to help him as soon as possible. We're incredibly lucky that I have a first aid kit in my lab just for such an occasion. I'll go get it right now, and you can wait here for me. Guys, I really hope Kane has some kind of antidote in his first aid kit. That would be great because then we wouldn't have to look for a restoration potion. So, Kane, have you found the first aid kit in your lab? Not yet, because it seems I put it in a hard to reach place. Please find that first aid kit as soon as possible. We definitely need to hurry. Jax's stomach must be hurting really badly right now, and I wouldn't wish that feeling on anyone. I finally found it, and we can go help Jax now. In that case, let's get outside as quickly as possible and head towards McDonald's. I really hope that while we were gone, gummy crocodiles didn't manage to break into McDonald's, because then we'd have to help them too. Hey, look at that! It seems the gummy crocodile is heading to McDonald's 
on a scooter. That could end very badly. I hope you left at least some food so he doesn't become very aggressive. Of course, there are still burgers that Jack's made. We need to go inside immediately and see what's going on. Look at this. It seems the gummy crocodile is somewhere outside McDonald's and definitely not inside. In that case, we're incredibly lucky that he apparently passed oh, by. Oh, no, not this. It seems he was just a little late and now he's ridden his scooter right inside. Stop immediately and stop riding inside McDonald's gummy crocodile. Don't you understand that you're going to turn everything upside down here? And now he's decided to steal one of the tables. Ouch, Kane. It seems you hit me with your staff. Sorry about that, but you stood right in front of the gummy crocodile. The gummy crocodile ran away, and right now we need to help Jax recover as quickly as possible. Don't worry about it. I'll get my first aid kit and find some kind of shot for him. The gummy crocodile is back. Now he's not breaking anything because he's probably hungry. Guys, thank you so much for saving me because my stomach hurt really bad. And gummy crocodile, please eat as carefully as possible because you've already broken almost half of McDonald's. Hey guys, why did you let the gummy crocodile into my McDonald's in the first place? Get out of here immediately, gummy crocodile. It looks like he drew his saber and we need to chase him out of here as soon as possible. Hey, gummy crocodile, get out of McDonald's immediately. You're not welcome here today. We'll definitely need to send him back to his candy kingdom soon. We'll definitely do that in the next episodes. By the way, guys, there's something very interesting in our amazing digital circus. Would you like to go with me right now to check it out? Of course, I'd love to go with you. In that case, let's run to my house right now. Of course, let's go quickly while Kane deals with the gummy crocodile. I'm absolutely sure he'll handle it. And we can finally go to my house like we planned at the beginning of the episode when we were going to go on a date. Quickly, come down to my basement. I want to show you this laptop that I got recently. It has a lot of different games. Do you want to play with me? Actually, I don't know, because you could say we're already in a game. By the way, besides games, it also has our videos that we make with you and our friends. If you want, we can watch a couple of our old episodes. Wait, what is this hole in the wall? I don't remember it being here before. Actually, I don't remember anything like this being here even this morning. Let's try to break this wool and see what's inside. I have no idea where this passage came from. Hey, Ragatha, what are you doing here? Ragatha, have you really been spying on Jax every day when he was at home? Actually, you just came here at a bit of a bad time. Don't worry, I'll try to explain everything to you right now. I don't need any explanations from you. Just immediately get rid of this tunnel between our houses. It turns out there was this secret tunnel in Ragatha's basement all along. I had a feeling someone was watching me all this time, but I couldn't understand anything. Guys, please calm down because I'll destroy this tunnel by tomorrow. As an apology, I want to offer you a golden apple. Will you take it? Actually, I would really eat a golden apple right now because I couldn't have any burgers today. Wow, it smells amazing. I hope nothing bad happens to me if I eat this golden apple whole. At least I'm very unlikely to turn into an abstraction. Hey, Ragatha, have you completely lost your mind? What kind of golden apple did you give Jax? What am I supposed to do now? I'm so small that I can't even jump onto these steps. Guys, as you may have noticed, I'm currently at Jax's McDonald's. Just look at all these ready-made burgers. I want to eat them all by myself, but I think I should share with the one who actually made them. I'm very curious where Jax is right now. I'm sure he must be somewhere near the McDonald's. Wait, hey, Kofmo, what are you even doing here? Hey, Pomni, take a look a little lower. Wow, what kind of potion is this, and why did you decide to give it to me? You'll find out a little later. As soon as Jax arrives, throw this potion at him and something incredible will happen. Guys, I actually feel there's some catch here, but I'll just hope that nothing bad will happen. Now I just need to find Jack somewhere in the area. I guess I'll head to his house and check there. Oh, wow. It seems that this is no longer necessary. Hey, hi, Pomni. It looks like I've already noticed some kind of potion in your hand. Quickly tell me where you got it and what effect it has. Unfortunately, I don't know yet myself because I just found it. Then quickly use this potion. Just look right behind you. A gummy crocodile is trying to run into your McDonald's. In that case, we'll test your potion a bit later. Hey, gummy crocodile. Get out of here immediately or I'll test this potion on you. Look, it really got scared and jumped out the window. It seems we were incredibly lucky because it didn't even have time to steal anything. Now let's quickly test your potion. Well, Jax, do you feel... Anything? I can't step away from you by even a meter. Why are you even joking with me? Oh no, it looks like we really can't move away from each other. I think we can ask for help from the gummy crocodile. Do you really think that stupid gummy crocodile can come up with some way to help us? Well, okay, let's at least go outside. Wait, does this mean that every time I want to take a bath, I'll have to do it with you? Apparently you're absolutely right. So I'd really like the effect of this potion now. It seems that the gummy crocodile is lurking in the corner and planning something. Then let's approach him and find out what he's up to. Look at him. He seems completely friendly and even wants to help us. It seems he wants us to follow him right now. Well, I hope this will really help us get everything 
everything back to normal, so please lead us where you want, Gummy Crocodile. Very curious what exactly he wants to show us. It seems he wants to take us to one of his secret hideouts or something like that. I think that all the time he's been stealing potions from Kaufmo's lab, he's definitely thought of hiding a few of them. By the way, we need to hurry because the Gummy Crocodile has run very far. He's waving his paw at us, and it seems he wants us to run faster. Maybe we should stay as we are now? I'm pretty much fine with everything, except that you'll be bothering me when I'm making burgers. Stop talking nonsense and let's go quickly so he ran behind Kaufmo's lighthouse and is waiting for us there. Hey, just look at this. It seems your theory has just been confirmed because he's trying to get something out of his stash. Hey, Gummy Crocodile, show us what you're trying to get out of your secret chest. It seems he has some potion in his hands that can help us. Gummy Crocodile, in that case, use this potion on us as soon as possible. Wow, it seems this definitely worked. I told you the Gummy Crocodile wouldn't let us down. Very interesting where he even got such a potion. It seems he's been stealing potions not only from Kofmo, but also from Kane's lab. In that case, maybe you can get something else interesting from there and show us? Hey, not this. I absolutely don't understand why he suddenly started pushing me. Because of this potion, Jax disappeared right before my eyes. Gummy Crocodile, stop immediately and explain everything to me in order why you even did this. It seems he doesn't even understand why he did it himself, so talking to him makes no sense. Guys, what's going on here? Did the Gummy Crocodile try to steal potions from me again? You are absolutely right. And he even made his own stash right behind your lighthouse with potions stolen from you. I completely don't understand how he manages to bypass... Just look at this. He's spying on us from the water right now. Don't worry about that. We just need to close this pit and push him a bit deeper so he can't spy on us anymore. Guys, it looks like we need to go search for Jax, who disappeared right before my eyes. I think I know where he is. Most likely, he got hit by a teleportation potion and is now at Kane's house. Let's head there quickly and check if I'm right. Well... Let's go there. Hey, just look at this. There's another gummy crocodile on the yacht right now. I thought he was sleeping and we wouldn't see him today. I think there's nothing to worry about. He just woke up and can't even hit us with his bow. Then let's run away from the yacht as quickly as possible before he gets his aim right. I really hope the gummy crocodiles will stop gathering at my lighthouse soon because I'm almost out of potions. I really hope so because I don't even know who we will ask for help when you run out of potions. We'll need to come up with some additional way to protect the lab just in case. Maybe you could try moving it somewhere else? I haven't found any any place safer than my lighthouse yet. Let's go down to Kane's house and try to find Jax. I really hope you're right about where exactly Jax teleported. Don't you remember where Kane's secret room is in his it house? It seems you are absolutely right, and Jax is lying here on the floor completely unconscious. I couldn't be wrong. Now, we just need to come up with a way to help our friend regain consciousness. Do you have any ideas about this? I think we could try going to another secret room of Kane's. It looks like he just ran into it right before my eyes. Let's hide somewhere here and enter right after he leaves. Hey, Kofmo, hide immediately. Wait! How is this even possible? He didn't notice you at all. I have no idea, but maybe he just took me for some kind of decoration. By the way, I hope you have a shrinking potion with you to enter the secret room. Of course I have it, and I'll use it right now and shrink before your eyes. Wow, guys, look at this. It really worked. He shrunk. Please stand at the entrance and keep watch so Kane doesn't come here suddenly. In that case, let's go out into the hallway and look around with you. Everything seems fine, but I need to look for Kane in his own house. It looks like he went outside, and I hear strange sounds. Hey, guys, what's going on here? And where did Bubble come from? Kafmo, you need to grow back as soon as possible so we can quickly grab Jax and escape from Bubble, who seems very angry at you. Throw the recovery potion at Jax before Bubble tells Kane everything. Looks like I'll throw the potion at him and we can leave. Do you even realize what you've done? He just shrunk in size. In that case, I'll try throwing a different potion at him. Wait, the last potion worked with a delay and he's already conscious. Now he's too big and we need to shrink him again because of that. I think it's no big deal. Let's run quickly while Bubble is still trying to catch us at the secret room exit. It seems we couldn't help Jax at all and only made things worse. It's not a big deal because there's a car here we can use to leave. In that in that case, let's quickly drive to your lab and find the shrinking potion there. Guys, you really have no idea how much I love swimming in our lake. Unfortunately, for some reason, my friends still haven't come to join me, and I have to swim here all alone. Most likely, Kane is doing something in his circus as usual. Wait, what is that? Guys, explain to me immediately what you are doing here. You invited us to hang out today, and we came here as you asked. Get out of the water already, and let's all go for a walk together. Of course, I invited you to hang out, but explain to me why you scared me so much. We just wanted to surprise you a little more than usual. By the way, today, 
Kane really wanted to show you something very interesting. That's absolutely true. So let's all go to the circus. Honestly, you're acting very strange today. I think you're just imagining things. So hurry up and follow us because I'm incredibly curious to see your reaction. Wait, guys. What is this place? I've never seen it before. Actually, this is my new room that I built quite recently. Come inside quickly and I'll give you a little tour. What are we even going to do in this room if it's so small? Actually, I don't know why we came here because it was Jax who asked me to bring you here for some reason. That's absolutely true because I just want to show you something. In that case, show it to me quickly. Please don't rush because I need to prepare a bit first. Hey guys, catch my gift. It seems I don't understand why he decided to throw some kind of potion at us. It seems my head is starting to spin very badly. Don't worry about that because I actually have the exact same symptoms. Wait. Could it be that all this time it was Kafmo who was just pretending to be Jack? By the way, I'm starting to feel like I'm being teleported somewhere right now. I'm really experiencing the same feeling right now and... Wait, Kane, where are we now? I absolutely don't want to upset you, but it seems we've ended up in the hold of the Gummy Crocodile's yacht! I completely don't understand how this could have happened. So could you explain this to me right now? Actually, I have absolutely no idea about this! Hey, Kafmo, what are you even doing here with us? Haven't you realized that all of this is just a little prank from me? To get out of here, you have to complete a small task that I'll give you. Explain to me immediately what task you have prepared for us. The thing is that recently the gummy crocodile stole something from me and hid it somewhere. I just want you to figure this out. If the task is really that simple, then of course we're ready to help you. Quickly explain to me what exactly we need to find. I absolutely don't need these gold coins because the gummy crocodiles actually stole my staff. You have to return it to me. I think me. we can find it without any problems, but please give us at least some kind of clue. The thing is, I have no idea where they could have hidden it. Then how are we supposed to find your staff? Haven't you really? Realize that this is your problem, not mine? Look for my staff wherever you see fit. Well, Kane, do you have any ideas where we can try to find the staff? I think we can start by trying to find the gummy crocodile. Do you know where he might be right now? All the time he was in our circus, I saw him either on his yacht or at McDonald's. Since we've already been on the yacht, we only have McDonald's left to check. Wow, that's really a great idea, so let's head to McDonald's right now. Let's get to McDonald's quickly, because I think the gummy crocodile should be having lunch right now. Wait. It seems I was a bit mistaken, and he's not here for some reason. Honestly, I think we can also check the McDonald's parking lot, because I've often seen him doing something there. Let's go there and make sure he's not there. It seems you were right. And right now he's trying to get into your bus, Kane. I completely don't understand why he would do that if he doesn't know how to drive. Actually, Gummy Crocodile, we have a business proposition for you. We're willing to offer you as many burgers as you want at McDonald's every day. In return, you just need to tell us where you hid Kofmo's staff. It seems he's interested in the offer, but he's still not agreeing. In that case, I think we can offer to pay you a bit of gold for this information. He's agreed to our offer, so let's go. Take us to the staff's hiding place, and then we'll fulfill our part of the deal. Wait, Kane. I don't understand where he's going. It seems I'm not quite sure either, but let's keep following him. I will be very surprised if the staff's hiding place is somewhere near the circus. By the way, it looks like he's leading us behind the circus. We must follow him, otherwise we won't be able to complete Kaufmo's task. By the way, I'm really curious about how the gummy crocodile managed to steal Kaufmo's staff, which he guards like the apple of his eye. I don't find it that unusual since the gummy crocodile is a master thief. That's true, because he recently managed to steal my bathtub and took it to Kaufmo who attached an airplane engine to it and now flies around the amazing digital circus in it. It seems the gummy crocodile wants to take us to a cave near Kaufmo's lighthouse. Did you happen to think about how we're going to pay the gummy crocodile? We don't have any gold coins or any food you promised him for showing us the staff's hiding place. Don't worry about that because I'm sure we can manage to get out of this situation as usual. Gummy crocodile, it seems you got your part of the deal, but I have to tell you we have a slight problem. Unfortunately, we have nothing to pay you with. I think you shouldn't get angry and put away that potion. Where did this second gummy crocodile come from? Did they take precautions? It seems Kane already stole the staff from here, and now I don't know what to do to escape. The gummy crocodiles threw a potion at me, and I feel something very strange happening. Guys, just look at this. Because of the gummy crocodiles, I've become very ugly. Leave immediately, because after what you've done, consider our deal broken and run off in all directions. Hey, Kane, it's great you managed to get the staff, and now we need to return it to Kafmo as quickly as possible. I managed to steal the staff while you distracted the gummy crocodiles. Now let's finally climb to the top of the lighthouse and complete Kaufmo's task. By the way, don't you notice the price we paid to take this staff from the gummy crocodiles? Don't worry about that because we'll fix it later. If you promise me, then I have nothing to worry about. I really hope Kaufmo is already waiting for us there, and we won't have to search the entire amazing digital circus to return his staff. By the way, he might not be there because he could be resting in his new room that he recently built. You're probably right, so let's head there immediately. Guys, I don't think I've shown you 
you, Kaufmo's new room. Look at this beauty! By the way, and Kaufmo is indeed there, and it seems he's eating a carrot, which is very strange. Hey, Kaufmo, we completed your task. Guys, thank you so much for agreeing to complete this difficult task. Kane, please calm down and just return his staff. Tell me where exactly the gummy crocodile managed to hide it. By the way, why does Pomni look so much worse since our last meeting? The thing is, we found your staff in that cave. That's where we had a misunderstanding with the gummy crocodile, and he threw a potion at me, making me ugly. Once again, thank you for completing my task so quickly. Now you can do whatever you want, and I won't bother you without a good reason. And all that's left is to restore your appearance. You're absolutely right, so let's do it as soon as possible because I really don't like looking this awful. Guys, as you probably already noticed, I'm now near McDonald's. I came here to buy some soda from this vending machine, but I don't have any change. I think I'll go look for someone who might have some. Wait, what's that? It looks like I have no idea what Ragatha and Jax are doing together right now. I can't just leave this be. So, I'll run over to them right now to distract them from whatever they're doing together. Did they really go out together without thinking to invite me? Are you guys out of your minds? Explain to me right now what you are doing here together. Ragatha, I told you she would definitely come running to us and ruin everything. Let's go to my house right now to hide from her as quickly as possible. That's a great idea, so let's run there quickly. Stop immediately, or I'll definitely punish you as soon as I catch up. We don't care what you think. We're going to Jax's house anyway. It seems my friends have indeed lost their minds, and I have no idea what to do now all alone. I think I need to punish them for not wanting to hang out with me. That's why I'm going to the circus right now to ask for Kane's help. I think he probably isn't busy and will definitely help me get back at my friends. He's the smartest in our amazing digital circus, so he can surely come up with a plan to prank my friends properly. Hey, hi Kane. What are you up to right now? Actually, I need your help as soon as possible. Hi, Pomni. I'm a bit busy, but I'll listen to you. Quickly, tell me what happened. The thing is, I came here to ask you for advice on how I can prank Jax and Ragatha to get back at them. Of course I can help you, so let's go up to the second floor of my circus and I'll find some suitable potion. In that case, tell me what kind of potions you have. To be honest, I don't remember, but I recently made a batch of new potions, so I'm sure we'll find something for your case. I think the potion should be in one of these boxes by the window, so let's check them. Kane, look at that. Kaufmo is flying by your window in an airplane. It seems he stole my plane again, the one I built recently. I have no idea how he manages to fly it when it doesn't even have a steering wheel. I hope he realizes this before he crashes into a building. And here is the potion that will teach them a lesson. When you use this potion on them, they will teleport right into a cage at my house. This is really great. And the main thing I need to do is hit both of them with one potion. I really hope I can do it. Well, if you don't need anything else from me, I'll get back to my work in the circus. And you go prank your friends. Guys, you have no idea how happy I am that Kane could actually help me with a prank for my friends. Wait, it seems that Kaufmo was flying around here in a plane, but now I don't even hear the engine noise. It looks like I need to carefully inspect the surroundings because he could have lost control and crashed. However, I don't see him anywhere around. Wait, what's this? It looks like I was absolutely right and Kaufmo couldn't handle the plane. And now he's lying unconscious near McDonald's. Donald's. Hey, Kaufmo, I hope you can at least hear me. Can't you see that I'm really in bad shape because I couldn't control the plane? Wait, but I don't see your plane anywhere nearby. It seems it crashed somewhere around here. Please, if it's not too hard, bring me some healing potion. Unfortunately, I don't have any healing potion with me right now, so I'll come back to you a bit later. Please come back as soon as possible because I don't want to be stuck here alone. I promise I'll come back to you later, but right now I have to go to Jax's house to prank my friends who should be there. I really hope they didn't go out somewhere while I was at the circus with Kane. I think it will be much more convenient to get to the basement through the tunnel between my friends' houses. By the way, guys, don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to our channel. You have no idea how much your support motivates us to make more and more interesting episodes for you. And now let's finally go a bit further and prank my friends. Just look at this. It seems they are doing something on the bed right now. Hey guys, did you really think I completely forgot about you? Catch this potion that Kane gave hey, me. Hey Pomni, are you out of your mind? Explain immediately what potion you threw at Guys, just look at this. It seems Kane finally gave me the exact potion he intended to. Now my friends are definitely in a cage at his house, and I'm heading there right now. Though wait, I completely forgot about Kaufmo, whom I met on my way here. Right now, I'll search Jax's cabinets for a healing potion since he mentioned having something like that here. It seems there's absolutely nothing here except caramel arrows used by gummy crocodiles. It looks like I'll have to go back to Kane's circus once again to ask for a healing potion. Hey, look at this. It seems Kane has noticed that Kaufmo has been lying here unconscious for quite some time. Don't worry about it at all, because I already got a healing potion. Do something as soon as possible, because I feel like I've been lying here forever. 
It looks like we really managed to help you. Guys, thank you so much for this. I don't even know what I would have done here without your help. Never take my plane again without asking if it's fixed. Kane, by the way, I already threw your potion at my friends and wanted to ask where I can find them now. Did you completely forget what I told you? They should be in a cage in my house right now. We can go there immediately and check how they're doing. In that case, let's get to it as soon as possible. Although, wait, it seems you'll have to go there alone because I still haven't finished fixing my magic flask. Why do you always leave at the most inconvenient moment and leave me completely alone? What if I can't find my friends in your house? Then you'll definitely be able to find me. Well, all right. I hope nothing terrible has happened to my friends because I just wanted to prank them a little for not wanting to hang out with me. I will never forgive myself if something horrible happened to them and they turned into, say, abstractions. Wait, guys. I have no idea what this antique camera is doing in his laboratory. I guess I'll take it with me and in the future, I'll take beautiful pictures of our amazing digital circus. But now, let's finally find my friends. It looks like nothing has changed here. Do you even understand what you've done? Now, because you threw that potion at us, Ragatha and I feel absolutely awful. I honestly didn't want you to suffer because of me. I just wanted to teach you a little lesson for not wanting to hang out with me. Let me open this cage and you can finally get out of here. My head hurts incredibly from that teleportation. I told you that potion has side effects and shouldn't be used on people. That's why we don't want to hang out with you anymore. I have no idea where this bus came from, so we'll have to leave through the regular exit and close this door so no one accidentally comes in Open here. this door immediately because you've locked Ragatha inside. Ragatha, come out quickly and let's finally get out of Kane's house because I'm tired of spending time here. Do you guys have any ideas about what we can do together now? Honestly, I don't feel like spending time with you after everything you did to us today. I feel exactly the same way. Guys, it seems I've done a lot of stupid things, and now none of my friends want to hang out with me anymore. Hi, guys. I just went for a walk with Ragatha, and right now I'm heading back to my house to get some rest. Wait, guys, what is that standing right by Kane's house? That definitely wasn't there before, so I absolutely have to check it out. This is really strange because my name is written on this sign. I don't understand anything, so I'm heading to Kane's house right now to talk to him. I hope he's in his lab right now. Hey, what are you even doing here, Kane? I just decided to learn to play the guitar, and so far, I think I'm doing pretty well. Didn't you know I was going to do this? By the way, what happened here, and why does your lab look like it's on fire? It's just the aftermath of one of my failed experiments. Why did you come to see me today? Something very strange appeared right between our houses. By the way, do you have any healing potion around here? Of course. I have a healing potion since we're at my place. Guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I've got the potion so we can go now. I'm incredibly curious about what you want to show me. We don't need to run far because what I found is right between our houses. Just turn right here and you can see this strange thing. Can you explain to me what this is and how it appeared here? Actually, I'm incredibly surprised. It looks like there's someone underground here so we can try throwing the healing potion at it. Quickly throw the potion at this thing. Wait, what is that? Is Kaufmo flying a plane right above us? Come down here, Kaufmo. I'm really curious who is down there. Oh no, this explains why my name was on the sign. Guys, what is happening here and why are there two Pomni? I can't believe you don't know anything about what's happening right now. So I'm going to fly away as soon as possible because I'm getting a little uncomfortable. In that case, we need to find out who she is quickly. Hey, Pomni, do you even talk? It looks like she hit me. I'll try to neutralize her with my staff. I really hope I can do it. It looks like Kaufmo just threw a potion from his plane. That was an incredibly terrible mistake on his part, as she will most likely grow even larger right now. Let's try to run away from her as quickly as possible because she is clearly dangerous for us. Now that she's grown even bigger, it's even scarier to be near her. She's become so huge that she can easily grab one of us and take us somewhere. I think I have an idea, and we can try to hide from her in your circus. I think it would be much more logical to try to get on the gummy crocodile's yacht. In the worst case, if she start destroying everything, at least my circus won't be damaged. That's a very good idea, so let's really jump into the water and try to swim to the yacht. I hope there are no gummy crocodiles there right now, and they won't kick us out. At least, as far as I know, the gummy crocodiles have a lot of potions in their storage. Oh no, not this! It looks like Kofmo's plane is damaged, and it's starting to fall right now. I don't think there's anything we can do about it. Quickly go down to the hold, Pomni, and try to find the potion you were talking about. At least I'm really glad that there are no gummy crocodiles here, and we only have one problem left. The giant copy of me. I'm going to search all these cabinets for a potion. I hope your memory doesn't fail you and we can really find something here. Take this potion and use it only if the giant copy
copy of you gets close to you. It's very good that you found it. Guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Your support really motivates us. But right now, we're going to go upstairs to fight my copy. I'm still trying to understand why she appeared in our amazing digital circus in the first place. It looks like Kalfmo couldn't handle the controls and now he's lying unconscious on the shore. If Kalfmo couldn't handle her, I don't even know what we're going to do and if we can defeat her at all. I think we need to somehow distract her so that I can get closer and help Kalfmo. Hey, scary Pomni, come here right now. You really hit her accurately, Kane. It looks like she's close enough for me to use the potion you gave me against her. It seems like I did it. And she's finally disappeared from our amazing digital circus. You did a great job following my instructions and dealing with your copy, but right now I threw a healing potion at our friend and I hope he wakes up very soon. It looks like it really helped. And now everything is finally okay. Oh, why am I so huge? I can't even get into my plane and fly away because it's several times smaller than me. It looks like we need to get to the circus as soon as possible and shrink you with the magic flask. We definitely have no other choice because the shrinking potion is unlikely to work on I you. I don't understand what you want from me since I can't enter the circus itself because the entrance is too small for a giant like me. Kane, maybe you can try breaking these fences that are blocking our friend's way inside? That's a really good idea, so I'll do it right now. Well, can you finally get into the circus, Kaufman? This passage is still too small for me. Can't you see how huge I am? Kane, it looks like you'll have to break the entrance to your circus a bit more, so I can finally fit in. Wait, what's that inside? How did a gummy crocodile end up in your circus, Kane? What do you mean there's a gummy crocodile in my flask right now? On top of that, it grabbed its bow with candy arrows and wants to attack us. It's good that I'm much bigger than it, so I can handle it right now. Get out of here immediately, gummy crocodile, because no one is happy to see you here. It's actually very convenient to be this gigantic when you need to fight someone, but still it's very inconvenient right now. And quickly get into the flask yourself. I'm still too gigantic, and you'll have to widen the entrance a bit more for me to fit. In that case, hurry up and get inside, and I'll activate the transformation mechanism right now. Pomni, you'd better leave this task to me, because if you set something wrong in the control panel, our amazing digital circus might explode. It looks like the mechanism started, and it actually worked. I'm incredibly glad you were able to help me. Right now, I'm going to the gummy crocodile ship to teach him a lesson for attacking us. I think Kane and I will head to Jax's secret carrot stash right now. Hey, Kane, where are you stuck? I was just turning off the magic flask mechanism to make sure nothing happened. By the way, I really like your idea of visiting the secret carrot stash. I think we'll definitely find something interesting there, and we can also grab a snack. Yesterday when we were talking, he was bragging that he hides all his carrots there. If that turns out to be true, I think he won't even notice if we steal a couple of barrels of fresh carrots from there. In that case, let's try to enter through the side entrance so he doesn't notice that the door was opened at all. Now he'll never know anyone was here. It looks like you were absolutely Absolutely right. What are we going to do with all these carrots now? I think we could play a prank on him and take everything, so he'll be very surprised. By the way, what's this bathtub doing here? I think this is the bathtub modified by Kaufmo, and maybe it can even fly, and I'm going to test it right now. No, not that. Please wait for me because I also want to fly in the flying bathtub. I really don't understand what's happening in our amazing digital circus today. Did Kane dare to steal my bathtub that I begged Kaufmo for so long? What am I going to do now, and how can I explain to him that Kane stole his bathtub? First, explain. Explain to me why this bathtub flies at all. As far as I understand, it's some secret project of Kaufmo's. Unfortunately, he didn't share the plans for this bathtub with me. Don't you finally want to explain to me why you brought me here? Don't you know yet that today Princess Lou from a candy kingdom is visiting us? She should come out of the portal soon, so we need to go there and greet her properly. Wow, so you weren't pranking me. And Princess Lou really has arrived in our amazing digital circus. Besides that, I also made a very sweet chocolate cake for her to cheer her up a bit. That's all very well, but what are we all going to do together now? As you may have noticed, Jax has been behaving unusually arrogantly lately, so I think we can all teach him a lesson for that. By the way, guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel, as your support is incredibly motivating for us. Hey, Princess, I hope you don't have any more important things to do right now other than joining us to teach Jax a lesson. Right now, he should be near his house, so let's get there quickly and see what he's up to. By the way, I think that right after we teach Jax a lesson, we can head to McDonald's to grab a bite. The Princess is probably tired of eating only sweets, by the way, guys, look at this. Kane, immediately explain to us what you're doing there. I found a small ukulele so that during lunch at McDonald's, you could enjoy some beautiful music from me. Do you really have so much free time to do this daily? Actually, I'm planning to make the gummy crocodiles do this so they finally stop robbing McDonald's and start being useful. It will take me a lot of time, but I'm more than sure I can handle it. Honestly, guys, this was a
a huge surprise for me. I really love live music, so I'm incredibly happy that Kane decided to do something like this. Just look at this. It seems Jax is standing near his house and sorting through crates of carrots for some reason. I don't understand why he's doing that, but nonetheless, we need to be very careful so he doesn't notice us too early. I guess I'll finish sorting them a bit later, but right now I'm going to head to our lake for a swim on such a hot day. It looks like he's headed to the beach. That's really cool, because I already have some prank ideas. We just need to approach him unnoticed. It seems he doesn't suspect anything, so let's gather together as soon as possible and scare him like never before. Hey Jax, tell us what you're doing here all alone. This is our way of scaring you and teaching you a lesson for your recent inappropriate behavior. I have no idea what you're talking about lately. I've been sorting my carrots all day. This is for your inappropriate antics, so you shouldn't be surprised by this outcome. Girls, I will never spy on or scare you again. Just please leave me alone right now. It looks like our prank was a complete success, and I'm incredibly grateful that you agreed to help me with leave it. Leave me alone right now, or I'll take back my words and start spying on you every day. I think we could pull another prank on him. Do any of you have any ideas about this? Actually, I do have a plan, but to make it work, we'll need to borrow Kane's ukulele for a while. That's actually a good idea, because as soon as Jax falls asleep, we can start playing the ukulele right under his window. He'll definitely get really mad at us, but it will be a great prank for all the past times he pranked us. In that case, let's finally head towards McDonald's. Hey, Kane, we really need your help right now. Did you finally come to listen to my music? Actually, we just want to borrow your ukulele for a while. Please return it as soon as possible, because I still need to practice a lot. Let me try to play a bit first and see what happens. Guys, for some reason, I can't play it at all. It seems you don't know how to play it at all, so give it to me quickly and I'll try to do something. I'm very lucky that I also learned to play the ukulele, so just listen to this beautiful melody. It seems our prank plan is bound to succeed, so I'm not worried about it at all. It looks like the princess really liked our idea, too. Girls, just don't forget to return my ukulele, because otherwise, you won't have any live music during meals. Well, let's head back to Jax's house quickly. I'm more than sure that he's finally asleep right now, so we can easily carry out our prank plan. It looks like we're close enough now, so Ragatha, I think you can start playing. It's actually very hard to play because Kane tuned this ukulele terribly. Jax, I hope you're dreaming something very melodic to such beautiful music. Girls, have you lost your minds? Get away from my house immediately because if you haven't noticed, you're disturbing my sleep. It looks like the prank worked perfectly, and now we can all go for a walk around our circus without any problems. Honestly, I didn't expect the prank to be this fun. Hey Jax, get out of here immediately and never think about pranking us again. It seems I'll have to head to Kaufmo's lighthouse to get at least some sleep today. Let's finally go for a walk together. By the way, it looks like the gummy crocodiles aren't on their yacht today, so I suggest we head there right now. Do you really think Princess Lou would approve of our plan to go to the gummy crocodiles yacht? Hey Princess, right now we're going to the gummy crocodiles yacht. Do you want to join us? It seems she really doesn't like this idea, so we'll have to do it without her. That's not a problem, because while we're looking for interesting stuff on the yacht, she can just sit at my place. That's a really good idea, because I'm more than sure she'll be absolutely safe there. Let's finally head closer to the yacht and get on board to search everything there. I hope the gummy crocodiles have stolen something interesting from someone so that our adventurous trip isn't useless. Let's go downstairs and look around carefully because I'm more than sure the most valuable resources are stored here. And the gummy crocodiles aren't here, so let's quickly check out this safe and see what interesting things we can find inside. Wow, Pomni, it seems to be some kind of really cool golden apple that we absolutely must try soon. Do you really think it's a good idea to try it? If you're too scared, I can do it without any problem because I'm incredibly curious to know what effect it has. All right, I'll let you try it. But first, let's get outside and run off this yacht. Hey, Gummy Crocodile, what are you doing here? Ragatha, it seems we have big problems, so we need to get out of here immediately before things get even worse. Let's run towards the circus as quickly as possible because there are more and more of them every second. It looks like they're starting to surround us, so we need to come up with a way to get far away from here before they catch us and put us in their cage. I think we need to run into the circus immediately because we'll at least be relatively safe from those silly crocodiles there. Once we're inside the the circus. We can try eating this golden apple to see what happens. Maybe it will somehow help us defeat them. I need to eat it as soon as possible because they're already shooting at us with their bows. And we need to find out what exactly they're so fiercely guarding. Wait! I don't understand why they tried to take this golden apple from us if it has such an effect. And I have no idea what to do now because I really don't like looking like this at all. It seems we need to come up with something quickly because the gummy crocodiles are already at the entrance to the circus. Wait, I totally forgot about the handcuffs Kane gave me. I think we can try to use them against the gummy crocodiles. That sounds like a great idea, so do it as soon as possible. Gummy crocodiles, come here immediately because I want to handcuff you so you can't do anything against us anymore. It seems our fight will be fair now because we also have some tools for it. Hey, Ragatha, please help me push one of them into the cage that Kane built right in the middle of the circus. After we lock him in there, we'll definitely interrogate him and find out why they were guarding this stupid apple. Hey, 
Look at this. It seems he's trying to use a baseball bat against us, but he won't be able to do anything to us now. Now we just need to close this cage so he can't escape. Now we just have to wait for Kane to return. Pomni, actually. Jax and I invited you here today to show you something incredibly interesting. You can't imagine how much fun awaits you today. Hurry, come with us and we'll show you my new carrot storage that I built to replace the old one. I didn't even suspect that you decided to do some renovations and restore that place. I think we should do it a bit later. I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, so let's go there right now. Hey, Kane, haven't you thought about making some kind of proper descent from the roof of your new circus annex? I'll definitely do it next week. Well, let's finally run to Jax's new carrot storage. I can't wait to go inside and see how you restored this place after that explosion inside. Nevertheless, it's still pretty empty here, but I think I'll be able to fill this storage with barrels of carrots to the brim in the foreseeable future. I don't even think we'll be able to rebuild everything here from scratch. Honestly, I thought the same when I first saw this storage after the explosion Kafmo caused. Honestly, I really like the updated carrot storage. Guys, if you also liked how Jax and Kane restored everything here, be sure to write to us in the comments. I'm sure it will become even more beautiful in the future. By the way, Pomni, do you want us to kiss right now? I think it's a really great idea, so let's do it right now. Guys, have you lost your minds? There's no way I'm kissing you, so step away from me immediately. I'll go to the Golden Room right now, and you stay here and kiss each other without my participation. Stop immediately, or it will be much worse for you if you don't agree to stop right now. I'll have to throw potions at you if you don't stop right after my words. I feel like I absolutely don't understand what you want from me. By the way, Jax, don't you want to explain what happened to your golden room? I have absolutely no idea why this happened, but it doesn't matter at all because Kane gave me a potion he promised to throw at you. Explain immediately what kind of potion you just threw at me. It doesn't matter anymore because right now we're going to tie you up and take you to a very interesting place whose existence you didn't even suspect. Hey guys, look at this. I seem to have no idea where I am right now because my friends are no longer around. It looks like I need to carefully explore this suspicious dungeon since I've never been here before as Kane promised. Apparently there's only one single passage forward. Let's go down this ladder right now and try to take a look. Hey, hello Ragatha. Explain to me immediately what you are doing here and how you managed to get here. Just this morning, Kane and Jax were about to kiss me, and when I refused, they threw some strange potion at me, after which I immediately found myself in this dungeon. The same exact Kane! Have you completely lost your mind? Have you really not figured out all this time that you haven't been talking to the real Kane? I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Now you'll about. never know that you'll never get out of this dreadful dungeon! Hey, Ragatha. It turns out that all this time it was Kofmo who was just pretending to be Kane to prank us. Hey, Kof Kofmo, let us out of here immediately. It seems your silly prank has gone too far. Girls, actually, I have to leave now. And someone else will be watching over you instead of me. Hey, stop immediately and explain what you mean. I really don't like this. It seems we have absolutely no choice but to look for something that will help us get out of this dungeon. To start, I suggest you look into this chest and find something that might be useful to us. Look at this. I actually found a pickaxe in this chest with which I can break this grate. Do it as soon as possible because I can't wait to get back to the surface. I haven't seen sunlight in a long time. Hey, Pomni, did you hear that strange sound somewhere near us? Oh no, not this. Let's try to run away from here as quickly as possible. Let's quickly find a way out of here. It looks like you're absolutely right, because this ghost is still following us and doesn't seem to be letting us go. It seems the ghost can turn into a mannequin. It seems like every passage from this place leads to a dead end. So I have absolutely no idea what we can do to get out of here. Ragatha, come to me quickly because I appeared here, so maybe we can get to the surface from this corridor. It seems this ghost has driven us into an absolute dead end. Hey, Ragatha, do you even understand where we are right now? I don't know where we are, but we still managed to get to the surface, and I personally feel completely fine. Hey, Kofmo, explain to us immediately what happened to us and how we ended up in some dungeon. I didn't even suspect that Jax is a ghost could scare you so much that you would end up in an absolute dead end out of desperation. I'm going to smash everything I see in your house to pieces. Please don't destroy my kitchen. It was custom made. Tell me what you want from me as an apology. I think in that case, I'll take this new laptop of yours. Hey, put the laptop back immediately. I just managed to take it from Kane yesterday. Ragatha, let's run out of here because I'm more than sure that now we're even with Kofmo for this stupid prank. You'll regret deciding to take it from me. You should be thankful we didn't decide to blow up your lighthouse. That was incredible. Incredibly painful, so you will definitely pay for this. Guys, just look at this brand new laptop. Right now, I'm going to return it to Kane so he can thank Ragatha and me somehow. I think Kane will be incredibly happy with our find. This is your last warning. You'll regret it if you don't put that laptop back where you took it from. 
I don't think he can really do anything bad. So let's quickly run to Kane and ask him to turn Kalfmo into a tiny abstraction. It seems he's not joking and now he's trying to hit us with his staff. Let's quickly run into the circus and ask Kane for help because I think he'll definitely help us escape from the enraged Kalfmo. Just look at his brand new airplane. I didn't even know he managed to fix it. We don't have time to look at airplanes, Pomni. Let's get up to the second floor of the circus immediately because I'm more than sure Kane is somewhere up there. I think you're absolutely right. So let's really do that right now. Hello, Kane. We managed managed to steal your new laptop back from Kofmo. Wow, that's really great. By the way, have you happened to see Jax anywhere today? He promised to help me with the repairs, but he still hasn't come to the circus. Today he spent the whole day helping Kaufmo pull off the biggest prank on Regatha and me in the entire amazing digital circus. So I'll definitely teach him a lesson for this later. I think in one of the next episodes, we should definitely pull off the grandest prank on him for all his time in the amazing digital circus. Well, for now, I'll try to see what files Kaufmo left on this laptop. I'll try to delete him from our amazing digital circus right now to prank him properly. Wait, do you really think that's a good idea? It's the most brilliant idea I've had in the last 10 years. Hey Kane, turn around right now. I don't understand what you want from me. Because of you, instead of Kaufmo, Ragatha disappeared right before my eyes. It seems I just didn't get enough sleep today and mixed up some lines of code. Come up with something right now to bring her back. Fortunately, I don't have time for that, so you'll have to figure it out on your own. Oh no, guys. It seems I'll have to study programming to bring my friend back. Guys, as you might have already guessed, today I came to visit Jax to check out what he's up to right now. In fact, it seems I completely forgot to tell you that Ragatha is swimming nearby right now. I think I'll join her right after I go down to Jax's basement and invite him to go for a walk with me. It seems my guess was wrong, so I'll have to go straight to the beach where Ragatha is to ask if she saw Jax go anywhere. Wait, what's this? Pomni, to be honest, I didn't expect to see you here. If anyone asks, you didn't see me here. Immediately explain to me where all these silly cameras came from. You absolutely don't need to worry because these photos will be sent only to my personal collection and nowhere else. Do you really think I wouldn't realize you were filming Regatha swimming? If you're so interested in these photos, we can look at them together right now. I'll definitely tell Kane what you're doing and he'll punish you properly for this. I guess I'll head to McDonald's right now and grab a bite to eat. Guys, it seems I need to go back to the beach right now and tell Ragatha everything that just happened here. She'll probably get upset. It looks like she found something interesting underwater, so I definitely need to ask her about it. Hey, Ragatha, what are you up to here? Hi, Pomni. Do you happen to know what this giant underwater complex is right beneath our feet right now? Apparently, it's some sort of underwater bunker. You're probably right. By the way, you didn't seem to notice, but just a minute ago, Jax was watching you from the shore and filming you while you were swimming. That's incredible because it seems I didn't notice anything the whole time I was swimming here. Well, let's go down to this underwater bunker first, and then we'll get out and teach him a lesson. Hey, just look at this. Kaufmo, immediately explain to us what you're doing in this underwater bunker. To be honest, girls, you came down here at a very bad time. Immediately explain to us what this bunker is. To be honest, you shouldn't have discovered this place, so I can't tell you anything. I'll just ask you not to touch anything here, and I need to leave for my very important matters. To be honest, I was really scared when I saw him here. I didn't expect we would meet anyone here. This is indeed a very strange place, and there's even some sort of cage here. Maybe we should open this chest together and check what's inside. I can't wait to find out what Kafmo hid here before we arrive. Just look at this. It seems there's some strange potion here. Maybe we should put it back? I have no idea what effect it has, but I think we definitely shouldn't leave it here. I think we can try to use this potion to teach Jax a lesson. That's a really good idea, and you guys be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video! Honestly, I don't understand why Jax decided to film me swimming since he's never done that before. So many terrible thoughts come to my mind that someone might have made him do it. By the way, could you tell me where you last saw him so we can find him as quickly as possible? I think the last time he told me he was going to McDonald's. Actually, I'm not surprised because judging by the time, his work shift should have started and we probably wouldn't be able to find him anywhere else. I really hope we can find him inside and soon we'll teach him a lesson for what he did. By the way, do you happen to know where the camera is that he used to film me swimming? I think we should ask him personally because right now he seems to be reviewing the footage. In that case, this is the perfect time to stop him from doing it. Hey, Jax. Hey, Ragatha. It seems you just misunderstood everything. Pomni told me everything about how you were hiding behind a tree and filming me swimming. Actually, I already explained to her that I was filming Kafmo's lighthouse not you. I think you better stop lying to us. I'll steal his laptop and now we can delete all the footage. Now, let's see what happens to you. Honestly, as I already told you, I have no idea what effect this potion has. Oh no, not this. At least I managed to steal his laptop and video camera before it happened. Honestly, I think he already uploaded all the videos to the internet. It doesn't matter because now we can easily ask Kane to delete everything from there. But first, we need to get back to the circus before this giant abstraction catches up with us. We definitely need to come up with a way to return Jax to his original form after 
after we deal with all this. Apparently, I shouldn't have thrown that strange potion we found in the bunker at him. Hey, Kane, we urgently need you to help us with something. How did you even let a giant abstraction make it to my circus? You need to quickly come up with a way to get rid of it before it devours us. Don't worry about that, because right now I'm going to try to get rid of it with my new staff. I completely don't understand what's going on here, because this abstraction is about to scare all the animals here. Let's quickly check how Kane is doing with this abstraction. I can't do anything to this abstraction, so I'll distract it while you escape and head to Jax's storage. Be sure to find something useful there to get rid of it. Hey, Pomni, do you have any ideas what exactly we should find in his storage? Honestly, I have no idea what should be there to help us defeat the abstraction. We probably need to find some secret stash of canes with a powerful potion. That actually makes sense, and just look at this. For some reason, the front door is open. Honestly, I really like how Jax restored his new storage after Kofmo blew something up here. You're absolutely right. It's very beautiful here, and it seems I've already found the very stash Kane was talking about. That's really cool, so hurry up and open it! Wow, just look at this. It seems we've found another potion in a chest for the second time this episode. Honestly, I don't think this can really help, but apparently, this is exactly what Kane sent us for. Let's hurry back to the circus because the abstraction has become so huge that its spikes are even breaking through the wall! I really hope that while we were gone, the circus didn't suffer- Just look at this! Kane lost consciousness while fighting this abstraction! But we don't have a restoration potion, so let's deal with the giant abstraction first. It seems that it grew uncontrollably, and now it's really enormous! Okay, let's quickly try throwing this potion at it and see what happens. It looks like it's starting to disappear! You're definitely right, and we'll have to go search for Jax right after we help Kane regain consciousness. Of course, we'll also need to fix the circus a bit. Well, do you have any ideas on how we can help Kane regain consciousness right now? Actually, I recently started studying programming and can try using his computer to heal him. Apparently, we have no other choice, so of course, go ahead and try it. Please wait a bit because I'm still an inexperienced programmer and it takes me much longer than Kane. Please try to remember absolutely everything you've learned. It seems I'm done, and now we can go back to check on how Kane is doing. Let's quickly go and see if you managed to help him in such a short time. Hey, Kofmo, immediately explain what you're doing here. Better you explain to me what's going on here and why a tiny Kane is lying unconscious. Apparently, I mixed up some buttons when I was trying to help him. I told you not to touch the computer until you pass Kane's exam. By the way, what happened here? We just defeated the abstraction right before you arrived, and now we need to come up with some way to help Kane. In that case, I'll do it right now with the computer. I really hope everything goes much better this time and that Kofmo doesn't accidentally delete Kane from our amazing digital circus. As you probably guessed, I am relaxing on our beach right now. Unfortunately, none of my friends have come to see me yet. Just look at the wonderful weather in our circus today. Hey, hi Kane. What are you even doing here? Actually, I came here to relax on this beach with you. Are you really against me staying here? Not at all. I'm just a little surprised because you said you had a lot of work today. That's absolutely true, but I decided to take a short break to spend time here with you. Do you want to go somewhere with me right now? There's a very interesting place not far from here. To be honest, I think you're acting too strange today, so I feel a bit uneasy. Come on, stop worrying about it and let's go already. I'll show you something incredibly interesting. Well, okay. Show me where you wanted to take me. I told you it's not far, so hurry and go down this secret passage. Maybe you can tell me what this place is? I am not going there. You have no other choice, so go straight to that cage now. Oh no, guys, not this. I had a bad feeling about this. I don't understand why I agreed to go with Kane. Let me out of here right now or I'll be mad. At you. I don't care about your opinion because you'll stay here for eternity! Let me out right now, or I'll tell Jax everything, and you won't get away with it because he'll definitely teach you a lesson. I'm not scared of your threats because you know he only eats carrots and plays video games. That's why he can't do anything to me! Then I'll complain to someone else, and one of my friends will surely teach you a lesson- So right now I'm going to leave something in this chest and go about my business! And you stay here and stay very quiet- Guys, it seems I have no idea what to do here- Wait, what is this? Hey Kofmo, did you really hear my entire conversation with Kane? And that's why I came to help you right away. I don't understand what got into him and why he decided to lock me up here. Don't worry about it, because we'll definitely teach him a lesson for this. And right now, I already have a plan on how we can get out of here together as soon as possible. Do you have any way to break this stupid grate so we can finally get out of here? I can break it with my staff, which I will show you right now. Then please do it as soon as possible because I'm honestly very tired of sitting in this stupid basement. Unfortunately, Kane somehow managed to enchant this grate, so I suggest you use this potion to get out of here. But I absolutely don't want to use any potions. Do you have any other way to get out of here? I think you should stop worrying about it because I made this potion my myself, and nothing should go wrong. 
Hey, Kofmo, explain to me right now where we are. Do you really not notice that we are currently on Kane's house hat? Let's quickly come up with a way to get down. Sure, let's think of something because I'm definitely not jumping from here. It's too high. Come on, jump after me. It's not that high, and we won't get hurt from the fall. Okay, I'll trust you and hope your plan works. Ouch, that was still a bit painful. Unfortunately, we have to jump down once more, so please get ready for this jump. Jump right after me onto this tree. Do you happen to know what this camera is doing here? I can guess that Kane installed special hidden cameras to know in advance if gummy crocodiles are approaching his house. That's very interesting. And meanwhile, we've already climbed down. I suggest we go into Kane's house right now. Sure. Let's go down and see what interesting things we can find together. Then let's start by going into his lounge. Hey, look at this. It seems he's sleeping on his couch right now. Please be a bit quieter or you'll definitely wake him up. We'll come up with a way to teach him a lesson. Follow me quickly to my secret room, which I set up right in his house for such occasions. Show me what interesting things you have there for our little prank. Quickly, come in here and just look at what I've managed to build. Kane still doesn't know about this room, even though it's been here for a long time. Take it quickly, because it was you who Kane decided to lock in the cage. It's really great that you have such a wonderful hideout for such cases. Now let's go back to his lounge and prank him properly. Although, maybe we can come up with something else to prank him? It looks like he just disappeared right before my eyes. Well, I think I can prank Kane on my own without any special problems. Hey, Kane, sorry, but I have to disturb your nap. Hey, Pomni, what are you doing here, and how did you manage to get out of that cage I locked you in? Wow, guys, look at this. After the potion Kofmo gave me, Kane turned into a real abstraction. I need to get away from him as soon as possible. I think I can come up with something. Hey, Bubble, what are you doing here? Didn't Kane ever tell you not to scare people so much? By the way, I need your help because Kane turned into an abstraction. Guys, look at this. It seems like he's going to take me somewhere. I have no choice but to trust him and run with him. As far as I understand, he's taking me to the circus. Maybe he thinks we can try to put Kane, who turned into an abstraction, into his own magic flask. I think that's a good idea. So let's get to the circus and try something like that. Unfortunately, I have no idea how to activate the magic flask and really hope Bubble knows because otherwise we might make things worse. Hey, stupid abstraction. Come here because you're definitely going to catch me and I want to lure you into a trap. It seems he managed to hit me, but now he's in the flask, and we need to start it quickly. I hope I don't mess up the settings of the magic flask if I try pressing some buttons here, and now we just have to wait a bit until Kane returns to normal. How did I end up in the circus when a minute ago I was sleeping at home? Actually, thanks to Bubble, we managed to save you because a minute ago you were a real abstraction. Thank you so much for your help, and tonight I'll definitely make you a delicious cake. Would you mind explaining why you threw some strange potion at me? In that case, you explain to me right now why you locked me in that stupid cake! I was going to come back for you in just a minute because it was just a little prank. Nevertheless, please forgive me for that. I assure you that I will never do anything like that again. Well, in that case, maybe we can all go for a little walk together. That's a great idea. And besides just a walk, I want to suggest we stop by McDonald's. I think Jax is working right now so we can ask him to make us some very tasty burgers without any problems. He probably won't refuse us. That's a really good idea, so let's run there right now. Besides, Jax told me last night that he started making a very tasty cocktail with his new recipe. I think he'll let us try this this new cocktail without any trouble. You've piqued my interest. So let's hurry to McDonald's and I really hope Jax isn't off today. I'm incredibly hungry after our adventures today. Unfortunately, our hopes were completely dashed because for some reason he's not at his workstation. There's just this stupid burger left. I think we could try eating these donuts since they look fresh. As soon as Bubble ate that burger, he disappeared right before my eyes. I think we now need to find him in our amazing digital circus. It looks like this burger was so spoiled that it synthesized a teleportation potion effect inside it. I really hope we can find him before tonight, because I promised to make him a very tasty cake. And so, Ragatha, are you ready to go to Kofmo's house right now? Oh, honestly, I'm a bit panicked that something might go wrong. Well, let's go and try! Yes, today, guys, Kofmo has invited us to his place. And here he is standing right in front of his beacon. I wonder what he wants to tell us. Maybe he wants to give us some task today. Hey, hello! I'm so glad you came to me so quickly. So, I have a task for you. I think you'll agree, there's a chest behind me and I'll give you something. Well, I think that's everything. You need to catch Jax today. Pomni, do you think it's a good idea to catch our friend? He'll get mad at us and won't talk to us. If you want to get a very good reward, you'll have to do it. Definitely bring him to me. I think we can handle this easily and bring him to you. I'll be waiting for you here and after that I'll give you your reward. Just hurry up, I'm not willing to wait long. Oh well. 
don't even know. I hope we can handle this without any trouble. We have this rope with which we can tie him up. Do you know where he is now? Maybe he's in your house as usual, doing something? I think so. And right now we'll go to him and try to tie him up with this rope and bring him to Kofmo. If he didn't deceive us, he'll give us a worthy reward. I do feel a bit sorry for our friend, but guys, you can write in the comments if we can manage to do this or not. And also, what could Kofmo give us as a reward? And so, we're almost approaching his house. Oh, look at this. What is that? He's right on your house, look. Oh no, not this. He seems to be breaking everything and wants to get inside. We need to stop him somehow before he does anything. Quick, I'm after him. It seems we have little time. If we don't hurry, he'll destroy your gym and it will be terrible. We need to stop him somehow. Let's go up to the top floor and there he is. Look at him. Hey, are you doing anything at all? No, I wasn't doing anything. I just decided to work out a bit. You completely misunderstood. If you wanted to exercise, you could have just come in. There was no need to break the house. What was that in your hands just now? That's not important. Now you won't get away from us. We're tying you up. So you broke into my house and now you want us to leave you alone? I'll fix everything and make it even better than before. Just forgive me. Why do you want to tie me up at all? You'll find out a bit later. For now, let's take a little walk. I think it will do you good. Come on, get down here. You guys are acting strange today. Why do you have that rope in your hands? Where are we going for a walk? Could you put the rope away? I feel like you're trying to catch me. I think you're not mistaken. We really do want to catch you. And what do you hope to achieve with this? I don't understand. It's like Kaufmo has bitten you today. I think you should come with us and not stray away. At first, I doubted that this was necessary, but now I fully support this idea. Maybe I'll go to your house for now and restore everything. All right, I think I can take him there myself. What's wrong with you today, Pomni? You're taking me somewhere and I don't like it at all. Maybe we can eat some burgers instead. No, we're not eating burgers right now. I have a very important task. We're going to Kaufmo. I'll take you straight to his beacon. He's already waiting for you there. It's just a little further. Did I hear you say Kaufmo? Please, let's not do this. That's not important. You'll find out everything soon enough. Come on, follow me quickly and don't get distracted. I need to show you something. Oh, by the way, take some cakes if you want to eat one. Honestly, I prefer carrots. You know I don't like cakes. But if you want, I can eat this cake for you. I think it will definitely come in handy where you're going now. We're almost at Kofmo's Beacon, and I think I'll take you there. Does he have some kind of gift for me? I really want to get it. He seemed to have a very big carrot stock there. Yes, there's indeed a lot of carrots. But I don't think you'll be eating them now. Let's go up and take a look. Wow, I've been waiting for this for so long. So many carrots. Hey, I think that's enough for you. What do you mean enough? I wanted to take everything here. Kaufmo prepared all this for me. All right, let's go. Oh, look, Kaufmo is already here. Pomni, you did an excellent job. What task, Pomni? Did you bring me here for a reason and now I'm going to be put in a cage? No more talking. Just get in the cage. I didn't expect this at all. What cage? Where are you taking me? What are you doing? I'll complain. I'm curious who you'll complain to. Just sit here. Pomni, you're my best friend. What are you doing? Kofmo, I think we need to close the cage now before he gets out. One second, I'll take care of it. It was somewhere around here. You have one last chance to let me out of here, Pomni. If you don't let me out now, I'll be stuck here for a long time. Of course, I won't let you out because I've been promised a good reward. Just as I promised. Now come upstairs with me and I'll give it to you. I can't wait to see what this reward is. Is it not in the laboratory but upstairs? My reward is probably here somewhere, right? I think it's here. This beauty potion, take it and use it on yourself. Yes, just as I wanted. The beauty potion. Great, guys. I guess I'm going to be very beautiful today. I think you'll become unrecognizably beautiful. All right, let's try it out right now. I'll throw it and hope for a very good result. Wow, you really didn't deceive me. It's the beauty potion. You know I couldn't deceive you. I always tell the truth. And now you'll be very beautiful while I'm off. Wait, what about Jax? Are you just going to leave him in the cage? Now he's my pet rabbit and he won't run away. What do you mean? I feel like I did something wrong. Maybe I need to save him somehow. I'll take a look and see what's up with him. Hey, Jax, where did you get that staff from? That's not important. Now I can get out of here and no one can stop me. If I catch you, I'll teach you a lesson. You know this is a magical cage and you can't just open it. Well, if I can't open the cage, then I'll break the wall. This is Kofmo's beacon. If you break it, he'll be very angry with you. You should have thought about that earlier. Now I'm ready to take revenge on everyone who put me here. Whoa, guys, I think I don't have much time. I need to get out of here as fast as possible before he gets out and he's already broken the cage. Let's try to escape by plane, but for some reason, it won't take off. Okay, let's just jump into the water. He's probably already chasing me and I need to run as fast as I can. I told you, you need to run faster. I'm coming down to teach you a lesson. You can't hide from me. Calm down, please. 
I'm running away! Hey, what's going on here, and why do you look so beautiful today? I'll tell you later, but he's trying to catch me. It's all Jax's fault. Everyone calm down, and we need to figure out this situation. What happened? It's not important. I'll tell you later. She made a deal with Kofmo, and they put me in a cage. Can you believe it, Kane? Pomni, if this is true, then you'll have to answer for it.